Welcome to the public informational open house for the White Oak Road, Hebron Church Road, and Ackerman Road intersection improvement project. Your participation and feedback is very important to the Town of Garner in selecting and programming a project to improve operations and safety at this intersection. The Town has programmed a project to study the roads and intersections within a study area of White Oak Road from Bryan Road to Battlefield Drive, Hebron Church Road from White Oak Road to Clifford Road, and Ackerman Road from Hebron Church Road to Bryan Road. The roads and intersections in this study area have experienced rapid growth in recent years due to several new residential developments along Ackerman Road, the opening of Bryan Road Elementary School and South Garner High Schools, and a general increase in commuter through traffic from communities to the south. The project is broken into two phases. In phase one, our project team has collected current traffic data, developed traffic forecasts, prepared preliminary improvement alternatives, and through study and analysis, shortlisted the alternatives down to the two alternative concepts you will be evaluating today. In the coming weeks, the preferred alternative will be selected and environmental documentation and survey will be completed. Phase two of the project will prepare preliminary and final design plans for the preferred alternative in anticipation of funding request through the Capital Area MPO Locally Administered Project Program, or LAP funding, in the fall of 2018. There are several drivers that make this project an important project for the town and its citizens. During the morning rush hour, commuter and school traffic causes high levels of congestion at the intersection. In particular, it is extremely difficult to make left turns from Ackerman Road onto Hebron Church Road due to vehicles queuing from the signal at White Oak. The skewed intersection geometry also makes several of the turning paths awkward and unfriendly to large vehicles, including buses. If unmitigated, the traffic congestion will only worsen as additional residential units in the immediate vicinity are complete. There will also be a future interchange of the Southern Wake Freeway, I-540, at White Oak Road and potential for an I-40 White Oak interchange as well. Improving the intersection will be challenging and costly due to the presence of major utility lines crossing overhead and a cross drain running underneath the intersection. This study began with a wide range of alternatives considered by the project team that were shortlisted to four alternatives deemed viable for further in-depth analysis. The four alternatives were evaluated for their operational and safety improvement, costs, impacts, and schedule, and this information was presented to a project stakeholder team on April 16, 2018. With the results of the analysis and the input of the project stakeholders, two final alternatives emerged that are the focus of this public informational meeting tonight. The first alternative is a partial dual lane roundabout at the intersection of White Oak, Hebron Church, and Ackerman Roads. The 170 foot diameter roundabout would fit within an existing property immediately south of the existing intersection. The roundabout will accommodate traffic at a high level of service and very short traffic queues, and vehicle and pedestrian safety would be greatly enhanced. The roundabout is estimated to cost $1.2 to $1.5 million to construct and would require significant utility relocations. The second alternative would realign Hebron Church Road to intersect White Oak Road in a new location approximately a quarter mile south of the existing signal. The existing signal would remain to serve Ackerman Road traffic and the new T intersection of Hebron Church Road at Ackerman Road would also be signalized. In the future, the four lane extension of Timber Drive would intersect White Oak Road opposite Hebron Church Road, creating a four-leg intersection. The pair of intersections would improve traffic operations to acceptable levels. It would cost approximately $2.1 to $2.5 million to construct, including the taking of one structure and impacts to nine land parcels. A summary of the two alternatives is provided as a handout at the tables to the rear of the room. The purpose of this public informational open house meeting is to solicit your feedback on the two final alternatives. As you exit this presentation area, proceed to the rear of the room where you'll be able to view detailed drawings of the two concepts both on the tables and on the wall. Be sure to fill in the sign-in sheet 
review the concepts and handout information, and please ask questions and make comments to the project team staff. You may also include your comments on sticky notes on the drawings and, most importantly, on provided comment cards that you can drop off as you leave. We thank you for taking your time to provide us with valued comments on this project. Please proceed to the rear of the room to engage with our project team.